So this plus B, as you can see, will be distributed to all circuits in the motherboard. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to repair a no power laptop. So a laptop that is totally dead laptop without any sign of life. So let's get started. But first, don't forget to subscribe, share the video for other people like you, and please don't forget to like the video because your engagement motivates me a lot to create more videos for you. And for anyone who wants to join me into Patreon page where I share more information and more exclusive content, you are very welcome. So let's get started. So this is a very important video. Please follow it me and in the end and I guarantee for you that you will know how to repair any no power laptop so here as you can see so when we speak about no power laptop we should first go to the circuit where we have the input voltage okay so here as you can see this is the charge circuit where we have the power jack so here basically we have the power jack as you can see we have v in means the input voltage okay so here basically we have 19 volts okay so let's type in here 19 volts okay so here we have 19 volt so this 19 volt basically will go directly to the drain of this switch or MOSFET so depending in the type of the motherboard you can find two switches or MOSFETs or just one switch okay or sometimes you can just find a diode here okay so here we will get 19 volt over here so once this switch get here the control signal receive the control signal it will let 19 volt to pass to other side so here also we will get 19 volts then also this switch will receive the control signal okay in its gate as you can see here and then 19 volt will pass to other side so here we will get also here 19 volts okay so here we have just 19 volts so this is just a switches so when one of the switches or mosfet is failed the 19 volt cannot pass from the side to the side so when for example one of this mosfet or both are failed so the 19 volt here cannot pass here to the side and we will get a no power laptop so this is just the first calls okay so the first calls could be the switches and the input okay so let's assume that we check the switches and we find that the switches are good okay so here we will get 19 volt so 19 volt will pass directly through this path and then we will get here as you can see plus as you can see we have plus b so basically this plus b means the main voltage that will be distributed to the whole circuit of the motherboard okay so this plus b as you can see will be distributed to all circuits in the motherboard so including for example 3 volt always 5 volt always circuit ram circuit not bridge circuit cpu circuit etc okay here we should check other components so these two mosfets could be the failed component that cause a no power laptop the ic also could be the component that cause a no power laptop because the ic here is the brain is the main component that controls all this component here okay so for this as you can see for this mosfets basically these two mosfets are just for battery in order to charge the battery as you can see here we have the battery circuit as you can see in order to charge the battery as you can see we have here battery so these two mosfets this one this one because it is connected to the ground can cause as you can see here a no power laptop because it is connected to the ground okay this electrolytic capacitor if we have here electrolytic capacitor or even this ceramic capacitors also could cause a no power laptop okay so but if you find that the 19 volt here is present 
hair in the circuit means this circuit is not the cause of the failure then we should go to the next circuit do plus 3 volt 5 volt circuit so as you can see here plus 3 volt and 5 volt circuit could be also the cause of a no power laptop so here because here as you can see we get here the plus p the main voltage here also we get the plus p as you can see here we have here plus plus because this is another circuit okay so this is the main voltage so let's assume for example that we have here a short circuit here one of these capacitors or one of these capacitors it means automatically plus p will be shorted or shunted to the ground means we will get a no power laptop so you should always check the ceramic capacitors near to do 19 volt power rain here also let's assume that for example this capacitor is connected to the ground as you can see so it could create a more power this capacitor also okay so this mosfet also and this mosfet also but when we have for example a shorted component in the 3 volt and 5 volt circuit we can the laptop can you can see some signs in laptop for example flash leds or leds of laptop one or two leds are on but if you have a problem in the first circuit where we have the charge circuit here the laptop will be completely dead laptop okay so let's see what we should check here in the plus 3 volt 5 volt circuit so we should check as i told you before these capacitors you should even check the ic because the ic as you can see every ic in in laptop motherboard should never be shorted to the ground if you have any ic in the laptop motherboard including charge ic 3 volt 5 volt control ic cpu ic sound ic 1.8 volt for ram ic etc all ic's in the motherboard should never be connected to the ground or shorted to the ground if anyone is shorted to the ground the laptop will become a no power or a dead laptop then there is other component that cause a no power laptop the bios the basic input output system so because the bios contain inside it a program when that program is corrupted the laptop will be completely dead laptop okay and also connectors connectors also could be a cause of a no power laptop if there is a, a short circuited connector for, for for example a usb connector a bad usb connector for example okay so the first important tips here is when you have a no power laptop you should always focus here in the first circuit where you have the charge ic you should also check these two switches because in my experience i find usually that one of these mosfets are failed so if you find a failed switch like one of this one for example let's assume that you find that this switch is failed we have 19 volt here and we have the control signal here but the 19 volt is not passed to this side so you have basically two methods a quick method is to make a shunt between this point and this point using a wire okay not a thick wire just a thin wire okay between drain and source and the laptop will work properly but the second method is the most important method and the preferable method i recommend to to choose the second method is to replace the switch with another switch with the same reference as you can see we have the reference for this mosfet here am4835 as you can see you can even look for an interchangeable because if you don't find like this MOSFET you can find another replaceable one another that is like this one in its characteristics and in, in, or, in order to see the characteristics of any component so let's zoom a little bit you can just take its reference for example for this one we have AM4835 EP. we can just go to google okay 
and look for the characteristics for this switch in order for example to get another switch if you don't find the same switch you can look for an interchangeable switch the reference for the switch we have here am 4835 ap okay am okay 4835 as you can see here we have ap mosfet let's click over here so let's select the first result this is a very important website i use it usually to look for the data sheet of the components because as i told you before if you go to the data sheet of a mosfet a failed mosfet you can find in its data sheet other mosfets the interchangeable mosfets like that mosfet that's why you can choose any one of them so as you can see here we get here the pdf file here as you can see you have the same the same reference em4835 ap and we have the pdf file we have six page in it p channel 30 volt mosfet this is the first characteristic characteristic so the maximum voltage is 30 volt so let's click over the pdf file in order to download it okay here we go so here we have download as you can see so let's click this part number again in order to see the file of course you can use this box as you can see here we have electron component data sheet search you can just enter the part number of any component you want in this box okay and then click search and then you will get the file or of course you can use this in order to use the part number or description if you don't know the, the part number you can for example enter here a 30 volt mosfet or any description or of course the marking also okay because sometimes you can find over the component a description or marking and no part number sometimes so here as you can see we get the file as you can see here so this is the AM4835 AP MOSFET. Here we have P channel 30 volts. So this is a P channel. This is another characteristic P channel MOSFET, not in channel because there is a difference between N channel and P channel. Do you see here? We have the symbol for the MOSFET. We have this diode is from drain to source for P channel, but for A channel, this diode is in the other direction from source to drain. So this is a P channel MOSFET. Okay, and here we have product. We have product summary, some characteristic voltage characteristic and amps characteristic, and of course we have the pin out here. So first, you can download this file to your computer by clicking in this icon over here. So let's click over this icon as you can see and download it to our desktop in order to 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 study it so i need just to enter this security code just and then click download so we have six four so six four three six one and just click download and i should get the download as you can see the download icon here so one downloaded in progress that's it done so i can now open the file and study it at ease to say the truth all data sheet.com is a very important website i use it usually so let's zoom a little bit in order to see the file clearly so as you can see here so this is as you can as we told you before the pin out we have three pins for source one two three this is source here we have the gate and the four pins are for drain and of course this is pitch channel mosfet as you can see so basically here sometimes you can find here other part numbers for interchangeable but i can show you in the next lectures how to find the interchangeable components for any component you want so this is you can see the the the, the characteristics maximum voltage maximum current etc so basically here we have six page so this is characteristics you can read any characteristic you want so here we have some as you can see studying characteristics the heat the voltage the, the amps etc so for each spin our power mosfet part number etc so this is it
So you can do the same thing for any component you want in the schematic in the model. For example, for this IC, for example, this is the charge IC. I can just take this, the reference. This is the reference. So BQ24740 and paste it in, the, in that website and you can get the data sheet. So let's make another example. For example, BQ24740. So let's go to the website. So I can just choose her part number. Okay, so this is the website, and so let's type here BQ24740 and just press search icon, and we should normally get the PD file as you can see. Here we go, as you can see over here. So we have BQ24740. Always check or choose the first file. We have a PD file with 20, 29 pages. So this is a host control multi chemistry battery charger. Do you see battery charger with low input power detects? The same as we have here. This is the battery charger. Okay, as you can see, because we have here the channel for the battery we have the battery over here okay so you can use the same working principle just click over the pd file then go to download here and click over the part number again and here we go okay we have the file so we have the file bq24740 this is a host control the multi chemistry battery charger we have the applications here so let's read a little bit the applications notebook and intra mobile computers portable data capture terminals portable printer this could be used in all these applications and we have features here and of course the most important here you can go to this echo and download it to your desktop so that's very easy so that's it guys so i hope that you enjoyed the video and please don't forget to subscribe share and like please don't hesitate to like the video because your engagement motivate me to create more and more videos for you thank you very much and see you in the next video